our next button is going to be the track button right here. You have automatic, which is why I leave mine on. Your GPS will just set your track as you drive it around. Now you can go to open track. I haven't used that. I'm pretty sure that's basically the same thing. You can go to a magnetic classic. It has a hookup on the back. One of these back here just come right off and you can plug a magnet in. You don't need it. At least I don't feel you need it. Mine's accurate compared to some of the other units that I've seen at the track. The professional. This one's really nice here because once you go around your track, it's just going to kind of set your start stop line wherever you want. So you can go into here and you can change these actually to however you want it. This right here is your start stop line. If we hit OK, it'll give us a little legend over here. So we can see the different, what they mean. And you can move it over here, change the name of the track with the ABC. You can delete these little marks if you don't want that many. This is my start stop line. I just figured out how to change this making this video. So I'm really excited about that. Then I set two intervals here and here because we race start around this way and then turns three and turns four. If this isn't the right way to set intervals for turns, guys, let me know. Um, I'm new to this sport too, and I'm still learning. So if that's a silly way to do it, love to hear it. And you can show me the right way. Um, go back here. We can add different things. I'm not going to press it because you have to put them in a certain amount and then delete the ones out you don't want. I just went through it. I don't feel like doing it again. But it's a little cumbersome here, kind of like a Blackberry, but you'll get through it. It's not bad. So you can find the different tracks you've been to through here, remove them. I don't know why you'd want to duplicate one. Uh, you can choose the track. Uh, I see I changed the name of our main track already here to Space Coast. Uh, this one here is Hope Sound. Uh, I just know that because of the, the, the GPS coordinates of it. I can change that if I want. We don't go there much. And we did have one other track in here. I accidentally deleted it out. And it identified that one right off the bat as Ambassador Speedway. That one was preloaded in this unit. Apparently has thousands of tracks. Most of them are from overseas, though. Now we're going to move on to settings.